Today I'm going to show you how to install the Goal Zero Yeti Link Expansion Module. I purchased this as a kit directly from uh, Goal Zero and uh, I have a Yeti 1000 that I purchased from Costco. The reason I'm adding this Yeti Link is to connect this to my car so that the Yeti 1000 get charged through the alternator and uh, that way I get faster charge time and direct charge time so that it couldn't power the fridge I have in my car. So let's get started. So let's begin by opening the box. So this one is the Goal Zero Yeti Link. It's basically, it puts 12.5 volt, 65 amperage. And input is uh, 454 to 605 watt on the Yeti 1000. On the 1400 is 454, 750 watts so the minimum is the same the maximum is 750 versus 605 and then on the 83000 it's 750 watt fixed so it should fit the expansion module on this side of the 81000 so this input can be used for solar charge and this one indicates um, Either it's coming from a car link or you can change it to make it basically connect to uh, other expansion kits with uh, uh, Yeti. They have uh, other battery packs that you could connect with this to expand the power of the Yeti 1000 and up. So this is the power connection. This is the communication port. And it came with uh, these four screws. and obviously the manual. So they call this data transfer connector. And it is for Yeti Link and Yeti Tank. Okay, so let's get started. I keep my uh, other Yeti um, attachments here in this uh, box it's handy for that so this model that i have uh, it has this uh, module expansion here i've noticed that uh, there is another model of this yd 1000 it has only one small box here with one screw so i'm not sure exactly how that one gonna work but uh, this one has one single piece that you have to take out with six screws to install the link module. Okay, so I think we have all four screws out. You have to close the cover to pull it out because this side goes under the cover. And here are the other two screws. Here we go. Okay, so this one is out and the link will be in. So let's start by connecting. It says here, it has a sign. So positive and negative, obviously. So let's start by connecting it. So 
So just to show you, it went in pretty snug right there. So let's connect the communication port, which is a micro USB, by the way. Managing the cables underneath it. Here we go. And now we have to take the four screws that came with it. It's a little bit tricky to get the screw right in the hole. It's kind of deep. There we go. So this part is done. Now we have to configure it to go to a car battery versus a Yeti tank. Uh, out of the box, it's configure, configured to go to the Yeti tank. So to do that, uh, we have to take a, a pin like this and um, open it up like so. There we go. And there's a hole right here, this one right here, next to this uh, screw right there. So pair goal zero, you press this, just to show you the lights, you press this uh, four times. So if you press it one time, this entire thing here blinks. So that means it is in the tank. So if I press it four times, one, two, three, four. So now it is configured to be linked to a car battery or car alternator. And that's it pretty much. So now I could connect a solar panel to this in addition to having this connected to the car battery so it came with two cables uh, one of them is a male that goes right here and there's a 12 foot cable that takes that one extends it to the car battery so this back connector basically you can use uh, this uh, cable with which is uh, called it the Yeti tank extension cable. So you could connect it to the Yeti tank, or you could use this cable, which is called um, Mel EC8 to ring terminal. And what this one does is that you could connect this to a lead acid battery or alternator. And then uh, when you do that, this allows you to use this connector right here. So you use these two to connect to the terminal, to the battery terminal in the car. And you use this one right here, this connector, to connect to this. And then this one goes 12 feet. So you could use it to take the connection to the battery if you put it at the back of your car or truck so then 
this will allow you to use the ED link. This will allow you to use this to charge the ED in a very efficient manner. And then you could still add solar connection to here or here as a supplement. And then when this is fully charged, then the solar will actually what they will make this work as a maintainer for your car battery so when the solar char charge this ed to 100 percent the extra power doesn't go wasted it goes back to your car battery to keep it maintained please let me know if you have any questions in the comment below and please help me grow this channel by subscribing and uh, liking this video really appreciate it thank you